Hey y'all, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what's up? So, I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk about some of the homeschooling tools that I use for my toddlers and also the girls who are 9 and 12, right? I've been using these tools for a very long time since my first. Hi, Andrea. How are you? And I get a lot of questions. Like, I'm always posting in my stories what we're doing, um, like, behind the scenes, homeschooling things with the boys, especially, especially the boys. Hey, sexy Nelly. <laughs> Good morning. You guys on these Instagram handles. All right. So, um, yes. Hey, let's do the yogurt on the floor. He's not picking it up. Let him pick the one he wants. All right. Here so, are four bears here. The kids are home. Here. Obviously, you can four. hear the mess. <laughs> All right, so the number one one I want to talk about is ABC Mouse. Okay, first of all, none of this is like sponsored, not paid for. I'm just dropping things that I use because I always get questions on what I use, right? Um, so ABC Mouse. I've been using ABC Mouse for, what, 10 years, right, with all my kids. And they actually have one like um, Adventure Academy. So once you finish, like once they finish ABC Mouse, and I think ABC Mouse finishes like at around seven you can jump over to adventure academy which is the same um abc mouse uh company that owns that and they go in there the thing um with adventure academy is like an online game so they can play with friends they can play with other kids you know but if you're not comfortable with that um you definitely want to sit there and monitor the kids because you know people we are here doing the most trying to get your kids it's just like roadblocks you know you got to teach them internet safety um so uh abc mouse let me show you guys how it looks this is a behind the scenes look all right so look this is how it looks once you log into the um platform i love it because it's always giving like um different things at the top for the themes for the month so and then you could click on it it's very interactive um so like if it's like see now they're talking about african indian and alaskan native heritage month you know they like have black history month christmas halloween things like that so whatever season it is they change it and like um big uh they're very big on inclusion so i really like that about the platform so you can go to the about me and the wow. child can change their character to make it to look how let me turn it down. Um, make it look how they want to look. This is my son's profile. He's three. He goes in here. He dresses up the boy. Um, you can dress them up however you want, right? You can change skin tones and features and eye color and things like that. Um, here, stuff like that. So he goes in here. He built it. I love it. Um, and I think it's a really good tool. Like it uh, teaches kids like how to like get used to using um, a computer and a mouse, right? And it also shows them how like how to express themselves. Like I really love that about the ABC mouse part of how interactive it is, right? And then you can go like they have a room. So ABC mouse gives them a room. They could play with their pets. Um, it shows their stats, the tickets, all the work they've saved, things that they like the best that they save as their favorites, and like. Um, their lessons so if you click on the lessons they could just go into random things right here all right let's go back to the front <clears throat> real quick so then you have the learning path right this is like what they go to do let me just click on it what they go and they click on each path and it tells you how much percentage they're at before they actually get to their certificate and it does give them a certificate at the end you can print it out and every so often on the path they get a surprise where they can unlock it um and it's like each each section of the path focuses on like a curriculum or a theme right uh so i really like that and then they can actually go into the classroom so you could do like a classroom day and you can do different things around the classroom. Like this is how a classroom would look. So if you're like a stay-at-home mom and you want to use this as how to do your circle time, 
you know, and everything in here is interactive. If they click on this, it brings them somewhere to song and music. So the piano brings them there and you could choose the music. It tells them the date. So, and then you can add little stickers to the calendar. So if you want to say, okay, I could put a cake here because this is mommy's birthday and put a cake November 26th. Ah, says Sag Nation. Okay, let me let me stop. Okay, go back. <laughs> but you can put stuff on there, um, stickers, and you can give them stickers like, oh my God, Caleb, you did such an awesome thing today. I'm going to give you this ribbon. Great job. All right. <laughs> stuff like that. And then again, um, see how October looked. So let's go back. And again, you can play around with it. Again, I really like ABC Mouse for that. Um, and I've been using it for a long time. So once you're done and they outgrow ABC Mouse, um, and it's very fun. Like the lessons are really fun and the kids love it. You can, I have um, the, the other one I use like every single day is Time for Learning. I'm going to show you guys that one. Hi, hi, hi. So if you're just joining on, we are doing like a quick, like, what I do for homeschooling. And if you're not someone who's big, let me go back. If you're not somebody who's big on computers, I really feel like you're missing out, right? I know like a lot of moms like, oh, I want to limit screen time and things like that. But um, once the kids get used to it, they can sit here and actually do the lessons, right? And if you're not a good teacher, like for me, I always struggled with teaching my kids. Like they all have different personalities. And for Two of them I'm good with. The other two, not so good. So the computer or your tablet. ABC Mouse does have like a tablet version. Sometimes it has like little um, bugs, but I rather the computer. And it teaches them like how to type and get used to that. Because that's just, for me, I feel like that's where the world is going. So why not get them used to that? My three-year-old knows how to log in himself into this computer. So if I say, go do your lesson, Caleb, and log into ABC Mouse, he knows how to come onto the computer Type his password, log in, go to it. I have it saved in the browser. My gosh. So he has his own email. So then I have it saved to his like Google um, homepage. And he knows how to click the one he wants. And for some reason, he has like a bunch of different ABC mouse shortcuts. But, you know, um, so if I say, okay, go for time for learning and he clicks on it. We're in time for learning today. And this is how time for learning for him looks, right? And each day, it's a different um, theme. So I just do one a day, or you could do two a day. But So let's go to school time. The check marks are the ones that he's done already. And the first one, this says we're in pre-K 1 and pre-K 2, right? And then it will go to kindergarten for him, and then, like, a play. I'll show you that in a minute. So we just clicked on school time, and... They're showing him how to get, and each of them have um, the seven lessons that they have to do each day. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make this thing, like, focus. So, if you click storybook right here, <clears throat> and if you click, click on it, it will play a video, and it goes into, like, a video, interactive video of... And then this one shows him his name. I really love this one. It does it a few times throughout the program that does the name. Did I click on it? Hold up. Let's see. Emma, who do this? Who did that? Don't don't write on little boy. Don't go go get the marker and erase that. Go get the cloth to erase that. <laughs> My gosh. So this one is supposed to do his name for him and he can like do it how, let me turn up the volume, how, and he learns how to spell it. And then it tells him when he does it right, which is super great. I really like that. And then at the end of each lesson, it asks him if he wants to play again. Please bring me that, Caleb. He over here marking on my wall. Caleb. That's a no-no. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it asks him if he wants to do it again. Um, let's go back to pre-K one. 
this boy messing with me today so again it gives them different things you can go down go down and every time he keeps doing more it keeps unlocking and it, i love that it unlocks more than one so depending on how he feels that day he can choose which one he wants to play and then play like today he did on the farm and then it gives them story time brain box syllables painted um and if you follow my stories, like I can show you like a more in detail one. So this one is like a match it game. He has, they talked about in the story time, they talked about it. Now he has to match how many pigs go with the number and things like that. And um, as it goes, it adds more and it gets more for their level. So like this one's pre-K one, it goes to pre-K two. And then we go into kindergarten. And once he goes into kindergarten, the lessons look different. I'm going to show you how it looks. All right, so once you click K, and this is how the lessons look from K and above, and then it tells you what they're doing in K. So they're doing language. Caleb, hey! Language arts, and then each of them have a different chapter, and each, then it shows them the activity. In kindergarten, they're only doing language arts, math, and science. Um, if I wanted to go to first grade, he wouldn't click that, but I would click like later on once he moves up to first grade. Then it gives him the same language arts, math, and science. And I'll show you guys how one of the lessons look. Let's go back to kindergarten real quick. And then it says, okay, introduction to ABCs. And then it's like a video, right? And and it teaches them. Hold on, I think ABC Mouse is playing in the back. This is the English alphabet. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. There are uppercase letters, and there are lowercase letters. Come on, sing the alphabet with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J. Okay, so just give you guys a quick look. So by the time he reaches like this one, it's like more repetitive. He's done a lot of it in preschool already, so he'll know a lot of the letters and it's things that I also do with him. So at the beginning of the day, like usually how we start our day is that I do my own circle time with them, right? And I do that for like about 30 minutes and I use the Hey, can I get that? Give me that now. You're going to be in such big trouble. Give it to me. Thank you. And go get the um, the magic eraser to come erase my wall that you was over there writing on. Come get him. All right, so I use this board. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix it. It's all a mess. And I, um, you can find all the links for the stuff that I'm talking about. Again, this is not sponsored or anything like that. I'm just telling you guys what I do because I always get questions. And it will show you the link for the time for learning. And oh my gosh, little boy. The ABC mouse. All right, so this one I got from Amazon, and it's a Megan and Doug. If you know, uh, is it Megan? Melissa, I'm sorry. <laughs> Melissa, I said Megan. I'm going to rename the person. Melissa and Doug. Um, if you're, like, into educational things and a lot of Montessori stuff, Melissa and Doug, they do a lot of products that are very, like, toddler-friendly and baby-friendly, right? I love their stuff, so... Um, I found this on Amazon, but this is like our little daily calendar board that we use. My gosh. And then it tells them the month of the year and the date. And you talk about it and you could change it. And then we do the day of the week like yesterday was. And then what's the weather. And then how they're feeling. Right. And then we do like, okay, what's going on in November. Right. And then it comes with magnets that I usually just keep in this little zip off bag. Pray for me. Pray for me. They got the mic. 
They got the mic. <laughs> no. Listen, get out of here. Go go clean up the kitchen because I know you left it a mess. All right. Um. Yeah. So and then on the back of the board, on the back of the board is a dry erase board, and you can do dry erase stuff. And I have a big dry erase board that I use too. Can I get that mic? And this is how it looks. And you can hang it up if you want. So. We're about to cut this live short because he's. <laughs> I said to go clean up. Thank you. I got the mic. I got the mic now. I have. The, why do you look like that? Go get the wipes. Go get the wipes. Your face looks yucky. <laughs> Um, a few other things that I got, like I got the big day, uh, months of the year. These things, like I found them at Target, like random places, the dollar store. Um, and then, like, we use sight words, flashcards, right? And I have a calendar that I go by. I'm going to show you my calendar. I'm gonna, I have to log into myself. Let me log this out. Did you get the wipes? Yeah. You did it yet? No, you didn't. You still look yucky. Give that to me. It's on the floor. You dropped it. That's Callan, the two year old. <laughs> see, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, see, Caleb, I can do. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, like I was saying, like, if, you do it, if you're doing the homeschooling, um, stay at home mom thing, and it is a lot of work, right? And each kid is different. Like this one here, he's sweet in the face and he loves kisses and hugs and cuddles. But Lord, let me tell you, I can't teach him for nothing. He a mess. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say for nothing. Like he follows his brother a lot, but like when it comes on to learning time, he really doesn't want to sit and do anything. So like, I have to like try to find other things that, um, he would do and he likes a lot of hands-on things so like right now i find myself doing different things for them right where we used to, we do our circle time together and sometimes he's like not he doesn't even want to sit and do the circle time with me and i do abc mouse with him like he sits in my lap i put his hand on the uh, mouse and that's how i taught them all how to do abc mouse and how to log into the computer like my three-year-old just didn't just get up and lo know how to use the computer i they're sitting in my lap i got them a baby mouse initially right look a little mouse and this is how big it is in comparison to the regular mouse right so i got them a big a uh, little baby mouse and this is the one that callan used the little one caleb uses the regular apple mouse now and he's pretty good with it and um i just put my hand on top of their hand and they can click show them how to click on the keyboard i teach them how to type right we go over the letters on the keyboard right and have my children always been homeschool all right, so my girls, which are 9 and 12, no, they were homeschool until they all started kindergarten, right? So, um, ex except for Naomi, she started school a little early. Um, they used to go to a Mandarin school, but even then I was still homeschooling her because the school that they used to go, they went to was only Mandarin speaking. So I would still do all of these things with them. And then she only went there for three days out of the week when she was like two. Um, and the reason why we sent her that early, because when I used to drop off her older sister, she's like crying and going crazy and she wants to go. So we gave in and sent her there um, for uh, schooling. But again, like I said, they, they it was a Mandarin. It was an immersion school. So they only spoke Mandarin, especially at that age. They only they spoke um 90% Mandarin and then uh, as they got older depending on what grade it went to like 80% 80-20 right and then now this these past two years it's been the first year like they've been in an English speaking school right um, but I have like my oldest she was able to read write and um, all of that before she actually went to kindergarten and that's my hopes because I, I, I mean, I can, it's like I said, each child is different, and trying to homeschool them all, it's it's not fun, right? Um, it's challenging, especially when they're all at different levels and have different attention span. 
Like she's supposed to be sick, right? She looks sick to you. Look at her. Like why are you home? Why are you home? You should just go back to school. Like she. If I go in school right now, people would like. Okay, you have something on your face. You have something on your face. But she's entertaining the boys right now. Um, so, did you find, did, did, what it says, do you find it better? I'm asking about as a new mom, right? So, like, I feel like as a parent, you always have to teach your kids, even if you send them to regular school. All right, so my daughter, she's in the seventh grade now. Go with him over there. And I know you didn't clean up the kitchen, and I told you you just had something on your face. He did. Stop making a mess. You guys are going to clean up all of this. So, Nala, she's in seventh grade, and she came home with some social study stuff. And, like, one of her questions was like, Mommy, we're doing medieval times. I really love it. And I said, Oh, I love medieval times too. And she was like, Okay, so if you could choose a time in history, what time would it be? And I go, I want to go to the future. And she goes, she'd rather go to the past because she likes um, what they're doing about medieval times. And I say to her, well, did you know during medieval times, like, we were slaves, right? Like, that's what was going on during that time, right? Yeah. You're done? Yes, it's off. And she was like, oh, no, she didn't know that. And... Even when they were, um, they did Rome and they spoke about Rome and I realized like a lot of these schools, they're teaching the kids like watered down history, like not the, the raw raunchy things, like what happened in the Roman empire really, like how they went on this big old conquest for, they were trying to pretty much take over the entire world. And then you're in the medieval times and then you don't even touch on Go, go put it on in his room for him. Come on. And they don't even touch on what was really going on. So I feel like as a parent, it's your job to always, always keep educating your kids. Because if you want them to know the truth, and like I tell them all the time, like history is written by the victors. And a lot of times, like especially with the textbooks, um, they whitewash things and they make it sound pretty and it's not you know, in history, people were, people were cruel back then and a lot of things were going on. So I, I make it my business to always teach them and like me and them have like conversations and we watch documentaries and let them know about all those things. So you're never not, to me, you're never not homeschooling your kid. And like, let me show you for the time for learning, there is. I still use it for the girls, right? Um, they're 9 and 12, and I love time for learning because it goes all the way to high school, and you could keep them on that same platform. And um, it 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 also, it, maybe I didn't say it, but it like you can use it if you're in a state that needs to show proof that your child is in school. Time for learning um, counts as that proof. It actually gives you an attendance record. I'm going to log in for you guys on my thing. Time for learning. And the parent. Um, let me go into as a student. So. And it is all on my. Let's go Nyla. Let me show you Nyla's. And my link in my bio. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God. It's not going. Did she change her password? This little girl loves to change passwords. Boy, I tell you. She's always trying to lock me out or something. <laughs> All right, so I'm in um, the time for learning. Let me switch this around. This is how it looks. Um, I'm in Naomi's profile, which is my... Naomi, how old are you again? Nine? Eight? She's eight. She's eight. Why was I saying she was nine? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so she does language arts, math, science, social study electives, right? And um, then you have like language extensions. This is like giving them like more, more vocabulary, more spelling and things like that. And this is how it looks. And uh, it breaks down the phonics for them and how words, the actual... Um, meaning of words and the origin things like that 
and then you can go to math and then you have math facts which is math facts i really love i use it as a supplement for her because right now um she's struggling with her math right and we are we have her in tutoring and then we also have i i also have her doing this math facts like on during like in between which is like a fun game let me show you guys how that looks on her side so i wish okay so she has to like based on how fast she types let me type slow like naomi this is like the beginning i have to pretend i'm naomi because i'm in her profile so i gotta she types slow so i have to type slow like her it says you must be fast to play this is just like how you log into the game and the game speed goes by how fast you type so i have to make sure i say eight. Oh my gosh it's taking too long all right <laughs> so then it gives her facts right and she has to like type them in and once she passes all of these it gives them um more that she can do and i'm going to post more of it in my stories and if she doesn't know something she can pass it and then it reiterates that fact like it keeps it rewards it for her which i think is really nice um and i'm gonna show you the game like they have like spaceship games roller coaster games all in math facts ninja games that she likes they also have language so which is um like partnership with rosetta stone um i don't think i have that enabled here but they have electives that you can choose then it shows you her overall progress. So like I was saying that you can go into, you can make a plan and then it tells them how much she must do each week. And then you can give them a score. So anything that you see right here, it tells them, okay, aha, you have to redo something here. So you as a parent have to, you can say, okay, I need you to score. Okay, she got an 80 right here. And I'm like, okay, you should, I need you to score a 90 or above <laughs> to pass this level. So I want you to redo it. And you can choose what grade you can make it a passing for them. So if you want to say 70 is your passing and they don't have to redo it, 80. I put theirs at 90 because I feel like if you're, a lot of the questions aren't that many questions. It's like mostly like five and 10 questions at her grade level. And I feel like, okay, if you can't get the five right, you need to redo it. That's my personal thing. But, you know, everybody's different. Um, and depending on what it is. So if it's like math, if it's like science. And because I know she's struggling in math, I know, like, okay, I'm going to let her redo it at 80%. At least this way at 90 or 100. Next time she's getting 100. <clears throat> and they do science, social studies. And then you can do in the science... You can do interactive, there's interactive programs there. I want to find something. So each one shows you like an activity. So the activity actually goes over um, what it is, right? It goes over what is changes in motion. It teaches them a whole lesson, like it's a video. It's not just um, a boring reading thing. It's an interactive video. Let me see if I can open this so you guys can see it. So it's actually a video, right? And in this lesson, you will learn all about motion or how things so move. So it's not boring. And then at the end of the lesson, at the end of the chapter, right? Once you do all of that, you do all of that, you get a quiz and it tells you your score, right? And every so often, she needs to redo this one. Look at this, 43. It's trying to get away. <laughs> See, but it tells her she has to redo it. All right, um, and then once she's done, she gets like a big um, quiz at the end as well. And the ones that says offline is the ones that you can print. Notice that it has like, um, what is like a paper clip? That means it's an attachment. And then you as the parent, you can print it out and it tells them what to do. 
So C says, ask an adult for help. And a lot of the stuff is like that for the science and language arts. I think math have a few printouts too. Um, so again, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, um, for me, I just like using um, a lot of web-based stuff because if you're not a teacher or, you know, you, you end up going, you end up going to buy something anyway. So you're going to have to either go buy a book that gives a curriculum, right? And then breaks it down for you on what to teach them. And then you're the one sitting there teaching them. And if that's not your talent, <laughs> and my talent is not like to be very joyful. And, and again, like sometimes each kid is different and testing your patience is a lot. And I also do have books. So don't get me wrong. I have books. <laughs> so once what, when I get, there's times when they have no computer time. So I'm not all just about the computer. So this is like the coloring book for the boys. And then I use um, Brain Quest. So this will be uh, for the boys eventually. Or no, this is Naomi for grade two. So you could go back. She's in grade three now, but I always like let her go back because sometimes she forgets stuff. And I like to use these in the summertime. Um, and you see how this one says summer. So it's like a short version of what you did in the summer um, over the school year in second grade. And they can do do the work. And see, she did this one this summer. And then this one was Nyla's for the 5th and 6th grade for summer. And they could do that. And I usually keep them because a lot of times they don't finish the book. And the next child will, will finish the book. Um, the boys. So you could get like coloring books from the dollar store. So don't, waste, don't, don't spend too much time on stuff they're going to scribble on. And then these I got also from Amazon. These are for the boys. And you see how it says three to five, and then they can, um, let me show you how inside look. It's like tracing. So this is Callan's book. This is how Callan, this is, this is how my two-year-old traces. Can you see? He scribbles all over the page. But Caleb's, Caleb makes an effort. This is Caleb's book. He make an effort to go around the path. <laughs> look, he trying. And then it does, goes to the letters. And as you can see, he does the letters. He does pretty good. He just has to work on pressing down a little bit harder. And you can find these at Target too. Like I found a lot of um, books at Target as well. They're, they're usually at the beginning, like when you walk in and tar Target has like the dollar. It's not dollar anymore. It's just like $3 and $5 things that you can get. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Like, you know, so time for learning. I really love it. Um, you don't need, if you get time for learning, I feel like you don't need to get anything else besides things that you interactive books because you want you want them to learn how to write and hold a pencil. So you definitely need the books. But once you have time for learning, you don't need nothing else. Like you, you don't even have to teach them anything because it actually teaches them for you. And um, once they get used to using the computer, how long is instructional learning time for your two year old? All right. <laughs> Girl, the struggle is real with Callan. That boy, all right, so we do 30 minutes in the morning of circle time, right? Circle time is me. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, guys, welcome to mommy class, mommy class. And we go over what day it is. So we usually sing like the days of the week, the months of the year, ABC, one, two, three. I show them their name, right? So I said, whose name is this? And I show them like my name, their sister's name, and then do the last names, right? And then I haven't gotten to middle names yet, but so they know because their last name is really long. It's Cunningham, right? So we go over and because the boys' names are similar, 
because it literally the same amount of letters, but one end in a B and one end in an N. So I'm like, whose name is this? Whose name is that? And they know everybody's name if they see it, right? In their family. So that's where I start with first. We do numbers. Um, we do how they feel. Like say, how are you feeling today? We do what's the weather outside. So I tell them to go look through the window, right? And then um, usually when I ask them like how they're feeling, we'll sing a song. Like if you're happy and you know it, you know, all that good stuff. Look, I be in here, full on, mommy, mommy lesson. So I do this in the morning, first thing in the morning, because in the afternoon, it's very hard for me to do it because the girls are now home and the boys are like, they're like hyper. They don't want to, they don't want to do shit. They don't want to sit down. They're all over the place. At this point, they want to do their own thing. So lesson usually goes right after breakfast. So get them out of breakfast come upstairs, do brush your teeth. And my thing, especially with my three-year-old, he's more like, uh, you can, you can, you can have a conversation with my three-year-old. Like he can understand, like he, you could talk to him and he could articulate himself in reference to like, I don't want to do this today, or I'd rather do this mommy, or let's do this first. And, and like, you could negotiate with him. The two-year-old, good luck, Lord. He has, so his lessons are based on him, like how he feels that day, right? And so they've been under the weather for the past couple of days. So he's super grumpy. So today, all we ended up doing was um, the calendar, which is what I was showing you. So we did this. Can you hear him in the background? He grumpy. I don't know what's going on back there. So we did the calendar, right? And then... Um, he sat in my lap and watched his brother do his computer lessons. And even that, like him sitting there watching, he's learning because like when the program was asking questions, he was answering, you know, even though he wasn't the one actually clicking the stuff and, you know, he hears the stuff that's going on. So he's answering. And then, um, so I want to say my lessons is only about 30 minutes, like the whole circle time, about 30 minutes, Right. And then um, they come on the computer and however long it takes them to do the calendars ABC mouse because it's more like his speed. And then Caleb does time for learning or ABC mouse, whichever one he feels like doing. Most of the time he goes for time for learning. We do that and it's done. And I want to say it's about 90 minutes of actual sitting and doing instruction. And I'm not I'm talking about 90 minutes at the computer. So the 30 minutes plus like 45 minutes with me, um, with the computer. And then we also do like, um, we work on motor skills with the hand. So whether it's um, cutting something with the scissors, I give them sometimes, writing, tracing stuff, or coloring. And each day I try to do something different for them in that way so like i have a calendar that i follow for myself i want to show you my calendar crazy but i can't do afternoons because by 2 30 my seven-year-old is home and they don't want to they don't want to hear it they want to play with her for a little bit and so i gotta catch them in the morning <clears throat> and then we also do like gym so i take them outside i have like a little setup downstairs in my basement for gym so the whole like school time and then we do snack time let me show you Bye. yes it's not there it's not there it's just a preview let me show you guys how this looks mama hmm? we have like wakanda forever's toys now all right so this is my calendar Ugh. can you can you read it <laughs> So I'm a little bit OCD, so I wake up, work out, do your yoga, whatever this is, walk the dog. Look, I have all of this stuff. So you see the boys' school time. It says school time for boys from 9 to 12, right? Um, and then I click on it. I made this thing for myself. So I tell you, like, from 9 to 9.30, I'm doing circle time, and this is what we're doing, Right? Oh, yeah, and I read a book, right? We read a book. So all of this we're doing in circle time. This is what I do with them, right? And then um, depending on which day it is, they do 
um, whichever. So this is Time for Learning School or ABC Mouse. Like I choose a day to rotate each, but for, for the most part, I let them choose what they want to do. Right, so if they say, okay, mommy, I want to do time for learning today, or I want to do um, ABC mouse. And then, as you can see, so they do that for like about an hour. And then we go snack time. Right, and then I choose something to do with them here after snack time. We do either math or science. So we're either counting some shapes. This is now not on the computer. This is something we're doing together, right? <coughs> We're doing some money, and then we do motor skills, which is what I was telling you about. And then we do sensory play, and then either arts and craft or whatever, I rotate. And as you can see, that's how my schedule looks. And I just try to um, use that to keep me focused and keep me on track, if you can see it. So... And then this is why I was saying my afternoons are crazy. So um, usually like I'll work out after I do that and then put them to nap time. And then I'm, this is like when the girls start coming home from school, like around two. But then I also have things to take them to. So whether they have tutoring, whether they have art club, STEM club, um, yoga, piano lessons. You know, things like that. So, Let's both come today. Hmm? we could do yoga at home. You wanted no. to be sick, so we here. <clears throat> you should have went to school. But, but I'll be going to the nurse and you'll be getting caught. Mm hmm. Oh, so she's doing math. She went on to go do math facts. So why don't you put the keyboard on the thing? What are they doing? They're watching. So because Naomi's home today, right, we are distracted from our usual schedule. So Caleb actually did his um, stuff already, and he came up. They went to eat uh, snack, and then they came up. But I'm actually going to go do lunch now and um, cook dinner. So during that time, like, I cook dinner, I make lunch. Um, sometimes I don't cook. Look, struggle is real. I, I end up cleaning. I rather clean than cook. I'm a cleaner versus a cooker, right? Plus these kids are so picky. They always want something different. Shit. I can eat the same thing every single day and I'll be, no, you can't. We don't want to eat the same thing. Oh, you don't want to eat the same thing every day. I can eat the same thing every day and I'll be fine. You can't. You want to go make chef. What? 